All good. G, we talked about Devin Bush visiting the Browns yesterday. Right before Earl went live on the 216 show, the Browns announced they had signed Devin Bush to a one-year deal. You put in the group chat and on Twitter, you love the signing for the Cleveland Browns. G, why is the one-year deal for Devin Bush such and, a great move? And is it only because his last name is Bush? Um, that is my cousin. <laughs> um, so I love the move. Sorry, I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> it's not my cousin. Who knows? We, you know, he, he, we, down the line somewhere. Um, but the reason I do love the, the move is this. Um, I like the move because sometimes you can you can start to rearrange rearrange your mo- room in terms of say for instance you you got the same mindset in quarterbacks hey I got three guys in my room I want a vertical passing game they got similar characteristics hey I I, I want road graders up front I I want to run the ball with Nick Chubb let me get a big body guy I like my guards I like to run my offense through my guards which is something that's quite unique for the Browns the best two guys are inside. They like to run the ball or you got receivers or, or corners back in the day. Um, <clears throat> Tyvis talks about it all the time with the Legion of Boom and the San Francisco 49ers liking big corners, 6'3", 6'4", length, able to, uh, you know, be wide and able to get their hands on the football and hands on receivers. This move to me signifies, and I love it, you look at the two moves they made at linebacker. They signed a the middle linebacker, let Taki Taki go. Um, guy's name Nick's right? Is that what, what the linebacker is? Jordan, Jordan Hicks. Jordan Hicks. Yep. Um, guy that's rangy. Guy can move. If you go back and watch, and I, I especially watch uh, uh, Devin Bush a, a, in, um, in, in Seattle, and one thing that I noticed was he had that burst back to me. Um, I don't think he had the burst once he torn the ACL uh, with, with Pittsburgh, and I've, I've had that injury before. It takes you a little bit of time. Two years, you kind of get your explosion back where you're back to doing your thing. I think Devin Bush um, was never fully back when he was with the Steelers. You go back and look at how dynamic he was at the University of Michigan. The guy is just, I mean, I think he ran a 4-4, almost a 4-4-5 uh, at linebacker. And one thing now that you have is now you look at it as a collective. You take a look at three guys with J.O.K., Hicks, and Devin Bush, if they could kick the tires on and figure something out. Those guys who run sideline to sideline. Now it's all about you know speed. It's about running around these blocks. We're not running. Around, we're not running through people. We're running around. And and just go to show you if we gonna give that credit um, to Bill Callahan, we got to get that credit to Schwartz and see how he turned around guys that was terrible. Jordan Elliott was gonna be up out of the league. Mm-hmm. He he at least went somewhere and signed. Jok, we talked about one of the worst linebackers we've seen. He, was, he, he had the best career of his year. You talk about Taki Taki, who was just known as a, uh, a guy that's a special teams, really solid year move to them inside to Mike. So for me, if, if there's one person that could get the most out of a guy, a linebacker, in this scheme, it is Jim Schwartz. And I think he'll look a lot better with, with the Browns than he did in other t- schemes because of who he's going to play with. And scheme is a big thing, and I love the addition of the speed. You know, it's a, it's a no-risk move in the end. I mean, you saw, I don't know what they're paying him. I don't, have we seen what they're paying him, Mike? Those numbers have not come out yet, no. I mean, it can't be Let's much. just call it yeah. Minimoski. Yeah, right. I mean, he can't be getting paid <laughs> Can't be much. more than two, three million. <laughs> nah. Can't be more. I, even that much, I, I don't even know. Shillings, but rubles. The, the guy was drafted in the first round. Not that that necessarily means he's ever going to be any good, but you think he has. Trent something. Richardson was drafted in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He had 100 uh, tackles, I believe, in his rookie year. Yeah, if you yes, look at yeah. his PFF grades throughout his NFL career, they're pretty awful across the board. He has a good pass rush grade, almost or an adequate or above pass rush grade every year, but he has almost no sacks in his career. So I don't know where they come up with that. I'm not sure. But uh, in terms of the run game, he's always graded poorly, but that's what Hicks does. I mean, he's, yeah. a, he's the run-stopping linebacker. So maybe Devin Bush is a guy that they think they can use to blitz sometimes. I mean, he's even a, if he sucks and is useless, you know, what are you going to do? I a, mean, he's a backup. Like they're yeah. they're going to run two linebackers most of the time. Uh, most yeah. of the time, yeah. it's going to be Hicks and, and JOK. Right, right, right. Bush isn't going to be on the field that much. Right, but he's at least he's a guy who's played in the league because they didn't really have anybody with experience on the yeah. bench. So now they do, and you know, he and Tony Fields probably will be the backup linebackers. They might add 
I wouldn't be surprised they added a linebacker in the draft, maybe even two, possibly. Who knows? He, they're, they're, they're thin his position. At this point, you just pick it up nice skill sets that you like. Yeah. You know, if you're going to say, hey, listen, we like the fact that he's fast. We like the fact that he's agile. Hey, let's put him in, uh, see what he can do. He's like you said, he's not going to be they're going to predominantly run nickel anyway. But here's my thing. You know, that's how good players. That's how good teams do. You know, they take other people's trash and they turn it into their treasure. If you could coach people up. And that's one thing. Always under like development is a thing like. Or there are organizations that pride themselves on, hey, yeah, you might not have been good over here, but let me come over here and coach you up. Maybe you, maybe the linebacker's coach was trash, or maybe you just didn't get an opportunity. That's the great thing that, 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 that football brings you is development. Like, hey, just these guys are not finished products, right? They might have a great ceiling, but can you coach them up to be adequate pieces and parts? Hey, listen, hey, Sam Merrill is, is in the rotation. He's he's a G League guy, right? You, you sometimes you, you you catch lightning in a bottle, and what Are you, you saying? JB coached him up. You're gonna give him credit. Oh man, you put yourself in that one. You put yourself in that one. I put myself in the mix. <laughs> also, the mix. Wait, wait, G, no, I love you, but I gotta call you out on something. We did the whole hey, they just signed a new defensive ends coach, and you're like, all that guy does is put up cones and move tackling dummies, <laughs> and now true. they got now a linebacker coach, and they're now, gonna rejuvenate Devin Bush. Come no, on. no, 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 no. I I gave that to Greg. I don't say Greg Schwartz. I would give that to Jim Schwartz. That's all in the gym shorts. Like, come on, listen, Jay, this is not, don't get it twisted. D-line coach, tight ends coach them as entry-level positions. Mm. Overall, in the our overarching theme, I'm giving um, Jim Shorts credit for that. Mm. All right, Mike. All right, moving on. That yep. was a great rebuttal, too. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to rebut a lost bet, you can win it back. Uh, the bet transition. Mm. You can uh, say goodbye to Busted Brackets because FanDuel lets you bet on every game of the upcoming NCAA tournament, the men's side and the women's side. Whether you're betting on a big upset or a one seed, it's time to go dancing on America's number one sports book. And right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets if your first $5 bet wins. That's 200 bucks to use on point spreads, money lines. You can even pick who's going to win it all. Just visit FanDuel.com slash UCSS and bet on college hoops until they cut the nets down.